With the launch of Witch Queen and the introduction of weapon crafting, we've had two new types of perks. First, we've got origin traits, and then we've also got enhanced perks. So I thought it'd be cool to make a quick video where I go over all of these traits and perks. First up, we have Alacrity. Gain increased reload, stability, aim assist, and range when you're the last living member on your fire team or running solo. Now, I can see this trait being really good for elimination type game modes like Trials, and it could also be very strong for running content solo. Next up, we've got Hake Breach Armaments. This weapon deals increased damage against vehicles, turrets, barricades, and stasis crystals. At face value, this does seem to be one of the weaker traits here, but maybe with a stasis build, the increased damage against crystals could be quite nice. Moving on, we have Invader Tracker. Damaging the invader with this weapon marks them for allies. Now obviously, inside of Gambit, this does seem to be a very, very strong perk, and I can see it being really, really good. Then we have Land Tank, which I believe is the seasonal weapon origin trait. Final blows with this weapon grant increased resilience and additional damage resistance from combatants. Again, this does seem to be a pretty strong trait, and I can see this being really good in the day one raid. The reason I say this is because increased resilience and damage resistance could be really good, especially when you're underleveled. Moving on, we have Omelon Fluid Dynamics. This weapon has increased reload speed and stability for the top half of the magazine. Now personally, I am a big fan of Omelon and I really do like this trait, especially for something like PvP when you're only really using the first half of your magazine. Moving on to the PvP origin trait, we have One Quiet Moment. This will simply increase your reload speed when you're out of combat. Not much to say here, this does the job and it could be very good inside of elimination game modes. Then we have another origin trait called Psycho Hack. Sustained damage from this weapon lowers the target's damage output for a short duration. Again, a really strong trait that I've found so much fun on the Glaive as it means you can melee things and then it reduces their damage output. Not much to be said here, but this does seem to be one of the stronger traits. Next up, we've got the Iron Banner trait, Skulking Wolf. During the hunt, final blows with this weapon grant enhanced radar and remove you from the opposing radar. Obviously, inside of Iron Banner, when you've captured all three of those zones, this perk will be absolutely phenomenal. Moving on, we have Stunning Recovery. Stunning a champion partially refills your magazine, triggers health regeneration, and improves recovery for a short duration. This trait is going to be fantastic for champions and high-level content like Nightfalls. Suros Synergy states reloading grants this weapon bonus handling and reduces incoming flinch for a short time. Suros weapons are some of the coolest weapons in the game, and this perk is a really, really nice addition. Next up, we have Vanguard Vindication. Final blows with this weapon grant a small amount of health. I don't really know what to say here, obviously health on kills is such a great perk and I would highly recommend Vanguard Vindication. Finally, for the origin traits, we have Vice Stinger. Damaging an enemy with this weapon has a small chance to reload the magazine and increase movement speed while aiming down sights. Bows receive faster draw speeds and swords receive faster charge rate when this perk is active. Now, I have played a fair amount with this trait and I do think it's one of my favorites on the list. Having the chance to have an automatic reload on damage is just so, so strong and it can be really, really good inside of PvE. So, that is all the origin traits at the moment. I am going to move on to enhanced perks here, but I do just want to say there might actually be a raid origin trait. So let me know in the comments what do you guys think the raid origin trait is going to be. For this part of the video, I'm going to assume you know what the base perk does, and then I'm just going to explain the enhanced part of it. First up, we have Adagio, and the benefits of this perk are just going to last longer. Adaptive munitions will have an improved damage increase. Again, Adrenaline Junkie will have an improved duration. Ambitious Assassin will further overflow the magazine. Archer's Tempo will have a longer duration. Auto-loading Holster will trigger faster. Chain Reaction will improve your ammo reserves. Chill Clip is a completely new perk to me, so I will actually explain this one. Direct hits with the top half of the magazine cause a detonation that slows nearby targets, and the enhanced version of this perk will increase your stability. Clown Cartridge will further randomly overfill the magazine. Compulsive Reloader will further increase reload speed when close to a full magazine. Cornered will improve your stability. Danger Zone will also improve your base blast radius. Disruption Break will make enemies vulnerable to kinetic damage for an improved duration. Dragonfly will also improve your reload. Demolitionist 
elemental will give you more grenade energy. Dual loader will load three shells at a time. Elemental capacitor will further increase your stats based on your currently equipped subclass. Encore will actually have an increased duration. Ensemble will further increase your handling and reload speed when allies are nearby. Explosive head will increase accuracy. Explosive light will increase projectile velocity. Eye of the storm will now increase stability. Feeding frenzy will further increase your reload speed. Field prep will further increase your ammo reserves and your reload speed while crouching. Firing line has an improved range. Firmly planted will grant further increased accuracy, stability and handling while firing while crouched. Focused fury has an improved duration. Fourth times the charm will increase time between precision shots. Frenzy will just have an improved duration. Genesis will cause your kinetic weapons to overflow, which I'm not actually sure what that means, but I'm sure someone can explain that to me. Golden Tricorn will have an improved duration. Grave Robber will increase your reload speed. Harmony just has an improved duration. Headseeker will improve your stability. Again, Headstone will also improve stability. Heating Up will have a longer duration. Hipfire Grip will greatly increase accuracy, stability, and precision hit targeting when firing from the hip. Impulse Amplifier will massively increase projectile velocity and substantially increase reload speed. Kill Clip will have an improved duration. Again, Killing Wind will actually last longer too. Lasting Impression will have increased damage and blast radius. Lead from Gold will grant increased ammo. Moving Target will have improved movement speed and improved target acquisition. No distractions will proc a lot faster after aiming down sights. One for All will actually have an improved duration. The benefits from 1-2 Punch will last slightly longer. Opening Shot will grant greatly improved accuracy and range on the opening shot of attack. My god, this is going to be so strong in PvP. Outlaw will have an improved duration. Overflow will load the weapon even further beyond its normal capacity. Perpetual motion will have an increased duration. Pulse monitor will now trigger when you're only lightly wounded. Quick draw will improve your handling. Rampage will have increased damage. Range finder will improve your handling. Rapid hit will further increase your stability and reload speed. Shoot to loot will improve your range. Slideways will have improved handling and stability. Snapshot sights will improve your stability. Stats for All will have an improved duration. Steady Hands will also have a longer duration. Subsistence will grant an increased amount of ammo. Successful Warm Up will have an improved duration. Surplus will further increase your handling, reload speed, and stability for each fully charged ability. Swashbuckler will have an improved duration. Sympathetic Arsenal will have an improved grace period where you can still use the perk. Tap the Trigger grants an improved short period of greatly increased stability and accuracy on the initial trigger pull. Threat Detector will greatly increase reload, stability, and handling when targets are in close proximity. Thresh will just grant more super energy. Tilting at the windmills will have an improved duration. Tracking module will increase your blast radius. Triple tap is pretty confusing here, they've just removed the word rapid. So I assume this means they've increased the grace period where you can land precision hits and still get the benefits from this perk. Tunnel vision will have an improved duration and turnabout will last longer as well. Under pressure will greatly improve stability. Unrelenting will improve your handling. Vorpal Weapon will also increase your reload speed. Unstoppable Force will also have an improved duration. Wellspring will grant even more ability energy. Zen Moments will also improve your base stability. So at the start of this video, I didn't realize there was that many perks. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying Witch Queen and goodbye.